Number one, I'm talking about social laws. Every woman in Pakistan do not cover their heads. 95%. As I repeat again, my observation, which I saw where I visited the places in Lahore, I said 95% women were uncovered by their heads. What you talking about? Is this the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is this the Ummah? Tell me. Are you the daughters of, you know, the, the uh, Fatima Raziyatala Anha, Aisha Raziyatala Anha? Are these women your role model? Or those women who were prostitutes in the past, the, these actresses in the, which we do, do dances and all that stuff are your role models? Tell me, who are your role models? 95% I said. Then, the dress code, all fahsh. Inna Allah la ya'maru fil fahsha. Allah says, he does not, in Surah Al-Imran, sorry, in, in Surah Araf, Allah does not command anyone to do fahsh, to do immodesty, or to represent or present immodesty. Everybody, inna Allah la ya'maru fil fahsha. Everybody's doing this. 95% I see. Then, their satar is naked. Their satar are naked. Their trousers, their shirts are above the wrists and above the ankles. And this is the fashion. Translucent. Translucent dresses. Which Prophet forbade haram, haram. These women will never enter Jannah. Their hairs are not covered. Their dress will be there, but they will be considered naked. These are wa'id already said in Prophet the time will come that people will be like that. 95%. What you're talking about? Few people, few women, you will see that they have niqab and hijab, alhamdulillah. And there's another problem. Some people, they have their stereotypical concept. If the woman in Pakistan is doing hijab and niqab, she must be a prostitute, astaghfirullah, because they are doing this. Everything has become a mockery in Islam, of, uh, in Pakistan, about the Islamic socialism. Then, rites and rituals, go to marriages, all Hindus, waza mein ho, nasara tamaddun mein hanood, ye hai musalman dinna dekh ke sharmai yahood, that your dresses are like Christians, your culture is like Hindus, these are the people where even the Jews, you know, they get shamed of. They also get shy and they get ashamed that what kind of these people are. Don't they have any person to follow? Don't they have any person to follow like Sunnah of Prophet? They don't have any Sunnah of their Nabi. Jews would laugh on us. And this is what says. All rites and rituals are from Hindus. Mixed with Islamic culture. Then... People normally don't say assalamu alaikum to anyone. No system. I and when I came out from the aircraft, the first person I saw in Lahore Airport, I said assalamu alaikum. He didn't even reply to me. As they people, these people have no tendency, you know, to, to say wa alaikum assalam. I'm not saying they don't say. Many of them they do say, but generally they have no idea of saying assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. This is it. Once you are come out from there, how come? What's happening to us? Then people speak with foul language. They have to abuse. They have to use four letter words. In Urdu, of course, that you sister, four letter words. You mother, four letter words. They have to use four letter word to insinuate to abuse in a jokingly or whatever this is the style had become prophet say the time will come when people will abuse a lot for no reason no reason that's their way of speaking idiosyncrasy this is what then no patience no akhlaq no tarbiya like like something no akhlaq no patience they break every light street light the rules the traffic rules everything they break the police system i saw my own eyes punjab police the guy is sitting he's not even the police in uniform he's just put his leg on the steering and he's enjoying and there's no number plate and then people say that these uh, these uh, what you call uh, cars vehicles the police even they drop little kids from school government gave them budget 
to protect people from our taxes and they themselves earning money through those vehicles. And you said that this is a system. This is what you call corruption. Every system is corrupted. And he's a policeman. People are afraid of him. Because if you say that, why you are doing this, he will catch you and do put you into a case. I said, shame on you. Shame on this kind of system. We are Muslims. What kind of Muslims are we? Then, you watch. People have no patience. People have no akhlaq. They are rude. They don't even have a basic akhlaq, morality. You go into the shop, they, you, they see there's a queue going on. The other guy will break the queue. Other will break the queue. They break the queue. This lecture is endless. This lecture will be endless if I keep going on. Let's move to another part. This is a small glimpse of socialism. You do not follow the system. Any system of Islam, you have laws. There's no implementation. Ulamas don't care. They don't care, frankly speaking. Yes, they want to get the kursi in politics, but they don't really care the law is going on or not. Allah will ask you on the day of judgment. Allah will ask you that did you ta'maruna bil ta'maruna bil ma'rufa tanhauna anil munkar did you stop or not Prophet said that there must be always a jama'ah which always stop for, from the evil and always give you righteousness the direction towards righteousness they must be there these nations Muslims there must always one jama'ah which should do this I don't see who is doing this